Welcome back, everyone. We're going for some more of my videos that are going to career mode for FIFA 19. And a few things before I get into this uh, Champions League semifinal game against Real Madrid. First of all, I'm going to have to apologize to you in advance. If you hear a cat in the background, it's my one cat. She's going into eat heat right now, and every time she goes into heat, she meows and she meows and she meows and she meows. So if you hear her in the background, I do apologize. I've tried to do something about it, but I absolutely can't. She just absolutely will not shut up, so I apologize in advance. I hate that cheap pop, man. Second of all, we go in here real quick. As you can see here, I have a 1-1 uh, aggregate tie with Real Madrid going into the second leg, and so does Spurs versus Barcelona. Now, my brain is telling me Barcelona's going to get out of that tie, but my heart wants Spurs to do it, because... How awesome would it be if I concluded last season with a Europa League final versus Tottenham and me conclude this career mode with a Champions League final match against Tottenham? I think that would actually be pretty cool. And another thing you can see here is that Deportivo got relegated, but so did Getafe, which Getafe this season is going to be in Europa League, so that's a bit of a surprise. But anyway, that's, I just want to make sure that this team is ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to put my st my best starting 11 on there at this home game against Real Madrid. And even though I'm the home team, I'm going to put my away kit on because I do because the next video will be the Copa del Rey final against Real Madrid. And those of you that watched the last video that remember me saying I would be happy with anybody but Real Madrid, but FIFA 19 with its sense of humor is like, you know what, I'm going to give you Real Madrid, so... Anyway, that's just how it goes. We're going to get into the second leg here. We're tied 1-1 on aggregate. Winner of this will take on the winner of the Tottenham-Barcelona game. As you can see, Kylian Mbappe wearing a number 49, which is rather peculiar. And... Asensio and Vasquez is up front with him. Um, Hope Aziz is in there. The, uh, the CDM I did have in my team that I ended up selling to Real Madrid, so he's in the lineup. And, um, yeah, pretty much playing the same formation of what they did in real life. So without further ado, let's kick things off here. Or should I say Real Madrid's going to kick things off here. Jao Felix getting the steal. Okay, Timo Werner. I don't, I don't, I have no idea why he keeps on going to the wings like that. He's really driving me berserk when it comes to that. And James Rodriguez should have done better with that. Aiden Hazard playing against the team that he's playing for in real life. But Shao Felix is right there. You know, I have to do, let me, let me see something for a second. I have to do something about this. Why does he keep on... Crap, that's a wrong button. Oh, crap, I don't think I could do it from here. Crap, I would have had to have done it before this game, but I didn't, so... I'm gonna have to live with it. But, but Tino Werner really needs to stop going to the wings. He really does. He is not a winger, he is a straight... Although he can play as a right mid, that's not where I want him to be. I want him in the box. I mean, if, if I make a formation, if I put you in a striking position, you better stay in the box. I shouldn't have to give you specific instructions to say you're supposed to stay in the box and not wander off in the wings. I will I will bench him if he keeps it up. Okay, that's going to be offside, I think. Good save there by Kaylor Navas. Navas is one of those goalkeepers in FIFA that's such a headache for me to deal with. Okay, Jao Felix. Good save. As you can see right there, Navas, absolutely nothing is getting past, well, except for that, but he is single-handedly keeping this Real Madrid team in the game. You can see an early 2-0 lead for me. Real Madrid, okay. I was going to say they did move the ball well, but... I don't know who that was in midfield, but he just kind of stopped. Timo Werner, you need to be in the center of the pitch. What are you doing? 
You are not a winger. You, uh, you know what? I got a solution for this. If he wants to be out on the wing so bad. There, we'll do this. There, he can be a winger. If he starts coming up with some terrible crosses, I'm just going to bench him. There, we'll remedy that real darn quick now, won't we? <laughs> God, that drives me nuts. Okay, Timo Werner, you want to be in the wing so bad, so here's your chance. Oh, he does not have the pace to be a winger. And that, that's just... Oh. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna be wasting a sub here, but I can't deal with him today. I cannot deal with him. I think this may be the last time you guys see Timo Werner in his career mode. I'm convinced of that. This is a very important game that I need to get win in order to get to the Europa League, uh, the Champions League final. And he's fudging up his lines royally when it comes to where he's supposed to be tactically. I have no idea what in the hell he's doing. Yeah, you're gonna hit the showers early. I don't know what's going on in your head. I hate wasting a sub like that, but. Man, I, I just can't deal with him. Especially in a game of, of, of such importance such as this one. Okay, Jesus Corona. Not a great cross. Yeah, I like I said before, I really shouldn't have to put an instruction on, on the thing saying, hey, you're supposed to stay out and... There. Jesus Corona back to it. Kayla Navis is playing out of his mind right now. But yeah, if I put you in as a striker in a formation, common sense should tell you, hey, maybe I should stay in the box and not wander out in the wing. No, not Timo Werner. The moron wants to keep on wandering out in the wings. I am really considering him blacklisting him for the rest of FIFA 19. And by blacklisting, of course, I mean I'm not going to buy him anymore no matter what career mode I'm in FIFA 19. He'll join the likes of... Um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin and um, Joaquin Mela. And uh, can I add James Rodriguez in this game too, even though he just scored there? Even with his natural position of, uh, of central attacking mid, he really has not lived up to an 88 rating. As a matter of fact, the way he's been playing so far this season, he could barely be qualified as a 78 rated player. That's how bad I think he's been with my team. Yeah, I hated we, uh, using up a sub like that, but Timo Werner, he, he just isn't going to cut it as a winger. He's just not quick enough. Which is weird because he's pacey. And, oh, he almost knocked in his own net! Oh, come on, guys! No, 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 no. Uh, he didn't... Game... I thought the Real Madrid guy almost knew it, but uh, Jao Felix did get a uh, hold on that. Chao Noglu, cross it in, Kalo Navis, good luck trying to save that. I don't know who number 23 is for Real Madrid, he probably should have done... Well, I can't really say he should have done a better job covering Jao Felix because he did, but... I mean, look at that, there's really no reason why Jao Felix should have won that. Was that Vallejo? Actually, that might have been Hakimi. Okay, I'm just gonna keep the ball here. Keep my t how? What does my team look like? Mm, Zhao Felix gonna need to be subbed off. Uh, I'm not liking how that team looks. Crap. I might have to change my formation. Stupid Timo Werner. Okay, was that? No, that was not Vallejo. Vallejo was number three. I think that might have been Hakimi that was number 23. But anyway, 62% possession. I thought for sure Real Madrid had much more possession than I did, but 
Yeah, I'm going to have to change some things on my team. Let's go in here real quick, assuming I don't hit the wrong button. Oh, I shouldn't have to be doing this. Crap. Okay. Uh, let's see. Port Corona out wide. Rodriguez, I'm going to keep in there. Tiago's been pretty much invisible. He's he's another player that's been really disappointing me in this career mode. I'm not quite understanding what's going on with some of my players. Okay, let's see. Center back. Pavard. I don't think he can play as a CDM, but... We don't have anybody else to put in there. There, there's going to be my sub, so... Yeah, this is the team I'm going to have to stick with for the, for the second half. Okay, Chow Noglu. It would help if somebody made a... I, oh, oh, I see Rodriguez. Oh, that's a good header by James Rodriguez. Wow. I have to be... I, I've got to admit, I was seriously impressed by that. Yeah, he was a little late breaking his run, but that was a heck of a header. I mean, look at that. That's a good way... And I don't understand why Kayla Navas did not make an attempt to save that. I think he was surprised at how good James Rodriguez did there. Former teammate of his. And that was interesting ball movement by Kovacic. Screw it. Oh, he hit the post! Okay, James Rodriguez? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Maybe it was a formation change. Maybe since I changed this formation, it's helped things out. I don't know. But James Rodriguez has really come alive here. I mean, I, I mean, if you think about it, ultimately it shouldn't matter what position you're in. If you're in a center attacking mid position and you're a center attacking midfielder, you should be able to perform to the highest of your ability. So for the most of this career mode, he has not done... S oh, I hate when my players do that. Why do you spike the ball in the pitch like that? Just shoot at the freaking goal. Oh, hey there, Chivoto. What? <sighs> that drives me absolutely insane. Aziz comes on from Modric, which I don't understand why he didn't start the game, but whatever. Okay, Aiden Hazard facing off against his future team. Oh, he hits the post again! Oh, come on! I think it's the second or third time he's hit the crossbar in this game. God, give this guy a bone, game! And he gets dispossessed... They just will not let Eden Hazard win a, a score a goal in this game. Okay, nice, thank you. That's probably the hardest Eden Hazard got uh, had to work for a goal in his career. Screw it. Tell you what, oh, I, I'm surprised that didn't hit the post. That was a good goal by Eden Hazard. Surprise! that one didn't hit the post. Actually, no, that's not Hakeem. Who is that? That's starting to bother me a little bit. Who is that? That's... That might be Hakimi. I really wish they'd showed... I really wish they showed kit numbers on here. Might be Regulone. Regulone, however you pronounce it. I think it's pronounced Regulone. Rodriguez, passing it to Bustos, passing it to Christensen, just going to regroup here, Gustinson, passing it to Chalanoglu, Chalanoglu's had a, pass, a good past couple games, see, why could you not do that before Corona, instead of striking the ball in the ground like an idiot, that's what you should have done before. Yeah, we're pretty much in cruise control now. We're well on our way to a Champions League final. Like I said before, my heart, my heart wants Tottenham to do to win it, but my brain's telling me Barcelona is gonna win it. I mean, it would be fitting if I did play Barcelona in the Champions League final, considering they're a Spanish team too. But 
Like I said before, I played Tottenham in the Europa League final last season for my season two finale. That would be cool if I did um, Tottenham in the Champions League too. Look at Nakamba. He's been so good for me in this career mode. Okay. Uh, I think that was Harmaz Rodriguez. Good effort there. He just could not get in there in time. And there's Gareth Bale. Did look like he was going to move to China in real life, but the, the move fell, th fell through. Rodriguez. He's getting low in stamina. Who did that bounce up? Did that come off? No, I was going to say, that came off a Madrid guy. Okay, get in there. Nice! Andreas Christensen with a header. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I signed him. Even if it is for half a season. I am so tickled pink that I got him in the team. He is such a good player. I've never had a career mode yet where I've, I had a bad uh, feeling towards Andreas Christensen. Come on, guys. I... Come on, guys, don't... Get the... I don't know, my guys were just standing around not doing anything. Let me re let me regroup here. I don't know what that was. Come on, guys, don't quit now. You have to be just as good as, as the end, in the end of the game as what you are at the beginning of the match. Want consistency throughout the whole 90 minutes. Okay, that pass was almost... Guys, my guys need to get in better, better position. That was almost out of bounds. This really has not been the best of games for my, my team. I'm not quite sure what's going on. And that was a horrible cross. Okay, Mbappe. How does Mbappe win that? Uh, so, yeah, he fouls me and he th there's no call. That, boy, that's real fair, Ref. Nakamba with a shot. There you go. That's what you get. So I try to tackle Mbappe. Mbappe flops to the ground. Then he freaking throws me. He does almost like a full Nelson wrestling move on me. But yet the refs don't call anything. I was not even close to the ball. He wasn't even close to the ball. And yet nothing was called. But the, if that would have been me, not only would that have been a foul, that would have been a straight red. That is not fair. I hate this game when it comes to that. I mean, the rules should apply to everybody, not just certain players or certain teams. But there you go. My frustrations are out of the way. And Rio Zaragoza are going to be in the Champions League final. Who will be taking on either Tottenham Hotspur or Barcelona. Good game, boys. Okay, man, the match went to Chalanoglu. Uh... I don't know. Four assists. Huh. Be honest with you, I'm almost half tempted to give it to James Rodriguez. You know, I think I'm going to do that. I, I haven't done so in this career mode. This is probably going to be the only time he's going to get it. But James Rodriguez will be a man of the match here in this game against Real Madrid. The former Real Madrid guy going, and I won't know who. And of course, my cat absolutely will not shut up. Let's do some training here. Oh crap, I, I, I didn't want to do any more training, oops. But Igbukeme goes up to 76, yeah. I figured it, when it came after the January transfer window, there really was no point training up my players, but I'm so used to giving my players training, it's kind of become second nature for me. And I'm just going to advance here, hopefully we'll get to find out who I play in the Champions League final. And it will be FC Barcelona, so I will not get my dream final against Tottenham Hotspur, so... I will be playing against uh, FC Barcelona. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter because I'm not doing a, another season in the Zaragoza career mode. So, 
But there you go. The next episode will be the Copa del Rey final against Real Madrid. And the episode after that will be the final episode of the Zaragoza career mode against FC Barcelona to find out who the kings of Europe will be. So, But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.